How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday. It is the Earthmaster out here once again. Live stream is up and running, by the way. Went down here just a little bit ago and had some issues with my last update. Well, this one is good. Going strong. 10.55 a.m. California time here, Monday, September 30th, 2024. Latest activity out here um, across the globe does not show a whole lot of movement uh, in today's earthquake uh, update uh, earlier this morning a 5.9 coming into the area of the curl cam chatka trench that was followed up here by a 4.4 but if you look at the map here things are awfully quiet maybe a little bit too quiet out here and um, obviously we do have some earthquake activity uh, very minimal um, but uh, there is some movement across the indonesia islands area and the latest quake down here across eastern australia with a 3.2 Coming in here in the last hour. As uh, far as the west coast goes, lighting up slightly down here across the San Jacinto fault zone. But really, there's not a whole lot going on in terms of 2.5 and above. Really no major swarm going on out here across the west coast for now. Again, awfully quiet. Uh, there's our activity on the Seattle fault. This region here capable of seeing a 7.5 earthquake. And it's got uh, a little bit of activity stirring up on it right now with uh, some twos and a couple ones here in the last 24 hours. So definitely keep an eye on that. Trail of earthquakes across Montana down through Southern California here. You can follow that pattern across the um, this little mountain range here. Seen a slight little uptick here across the Intermountain West region in this area, but uh, really not a whole lot going on. Uh, some movement out in the oil fields here of Oklahoma, just south of the OKC area. The latest quake of 2.5 near Cole, Oklahoma, out in the oil fields. New Madrid seismic zone, seeing a little, little bit of activity here from yesterday. 1.7 and a 1.3. And uh, across the east here, a handful of smaller quakes, it looks like. Uh, one way up north from yesterday, 2.4 up into Canada. And the latest, latest one here, 1 1.6 in New Jersey. So we have a whole lot of... Uh, quietness going on and it seems as though when that happens uh, things start uh, things start to really ramp up here with a big quake somewhere uh, the question is where uh, 4.0 coming in right now to the area of the uh, Mediterranean there just south of Italy on the plate boundary looks like that's gonna be right about here in this area let's see what we got nothing showing up from the USGS map yet so it's going to be around the Mediterranean Sea, probably around Crete area here uh, for that latest quake, 4.0. Nothing big, just a little uh, moderate quake for that area. So we'll see what happens here today. Not a whole lot going on uh, for earthquake activity. Same for space weather activity. Things are fairly quiet here. Uh, there is an active region you can see way out there on the northeastern limb of the sun, just barely visible. This region popped off a large long duration M flare yesterday uh, really can't quite see the magnetogram image of it in terms of complexity it's still far out there but we'll get a better view of that in the coming days uh, for the ones that are currently facing us here not a huge threat going on out here for uh, any type of flaring these are all relatively stable or decaying and uh, just kind of drifting across here and uh, we'll just wait we'll wait for the uh, other sunspot area see what uh see what it wants to do once it's into uh the earth directed view flare threat right now minimal 10 percent chance for x flare m flare at 50 c flare around 99 percent chance or so no major roars in the forecast here folks storm prediction center as far as severe weather goes got a, a little marginal risk here for some severe weather across north carolina and that is mainly due to tornado potential two percent chance out there across this area today so just a heads up as uh, far as that tropical system here in the Gulf of Mexico that was expected on the 5th of October, it looks like there's going to be some moisture down here, but no organized development in terms of tropical systems, uh, which is good news. Uh, but it's still a little ways out there. Uh, that's going to be right around the 5th of October next week, uh, this weekend coming up here. We'll have to keep an eye on that. The latest model run shows no type of significant development moisture across the area but uh, again nothing of any major um, 
organization right now. Across California, we are just under the influence of a massive high pressure system out here, and it's going to be a hot one. Uh, expecting today's temperatures here, and actually in the next three, four days in the low 100s for October due to a massive high pressure that's just wanting to stick around the west coast and uh, we're going to be baking here for a little bit. Got some major fire concerns here today as well. Uh, I don't see any cool down at all for us across the west coast. In fact, this massive high pressure ridge is just parked in the position to prevent any type of uh, cool spell. Um, keep it from coming in. It's uh, not good. Got some major fire concerns out here as well with some dry north winds and uh, very you know very low dew point and very low humidity. Hot temperatures, major fire hazard out here um, today and next few days actually. A look at the fire map here for California. Um, not a whole lot going on in terms of fires here for now. Up in uh, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington, they're still dealing with some fires. Uh, but for right now, it's quiet. I'm going to check back on this a little bit later on this evening because I think uh, I think we're uh, going to have a fire or two pop up out here with this dry wind event that we're dealing with. Stream looks good. All right. I, I feel like I've done this a number of times. When technically, I have. This is my third update, really, uh, because of the um, issue, issues that I've had so far this morning. Uh, literally on the first one, the live stream went down. Then my computer froze up with the blue screen and actually reset itself. I've never had it do that before. So someone waits around for me on the live stream there and then uh, pulls the plug somehow. I don't know how they're doing it, but it's an issue I've been dealing with here for uh, a couple of years. And not all the time, but it, it just seems like when they're bored or whoever it is, uh, they pulled the plug on me. So I had to reset it. They changed somehow the settings got changed on this uh, broadcasting software went down to the low 2000s on the KBs which put it at a very low quality so I had to redo the update so now we're good streaming at uh, 4k 23,000 KBs a second should be fine I hope fingers crossed so anyway we got uh, some dry conditions out here strong north wind across Northern California uh, hopefully we don't have any fires out here. They're shutting off the power uh, to numerous communities up in the mountains here uh, outside of Glen County, Calusa County, Tahima County. Uh, these folks are getting their, their power shut off because of the potential of wind and uh, maybe the wind blowing the power lines down, creating some fires. So they're, um, they're just shutting the power off to uh, hopefully limit any type of fires, which... It, uh, it's not good for the folks that have to deal with this heat and no electricity. But uh, they're, they're just trying to limit, I guess, their, their, um, their equipment, Pacific Gas and Electric uh, equipment, from starting any more fires out here across the uh, Northern California area. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Uh, again, earthquake activity is super-duper quiet. Uh, and basically across the entire Pacific Plate, uh, things are super quiet. 5.9 this morning, but uh, since then, that's about it. So we'll see what happens today. Um, you guys have a good Monday. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening, folks. Take care. Stay safe out there.